Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Sprecher here, DocSports.com, and welcome to our update for Monday, January 11th, 2021. Free college basketball play coming up on this report. Also wanted to mention I'm giving away two props on a free video, college football championship props on Monday. It's available right now if you want to check out the video also. And before I get to today's free play, a real quick note, if you have yet to become a member at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account, which you can use on any of my daily packages or anybody else at DocSports.com. All right, before we jump into everything that's going on for Monday, college basketball, another great weekend. Uh, we picked up a winning day on Saturday, led by a seven-star on Seton Hall. Only had one play on Sunday, but that was a five-star, and that came through also cashing with the Iowa Hawkeyes over Minnesota. We are close to $4,000 of profit with my college basketball sides going all the way back to November 26th for those wagering just $100 per unit. And again, I got one play on Monday's card in college basketball. It's on my homepage at DocSports.com. As far as football, hey, we haven't had to say this too much. We've had a great run over the past 10 or 12 weeks, uh, but I did not win over the weekend. I went one and two. Started out well with the Rams uh, and the top play was Tennessee. And as you saw, that one lost as a three and a half point dog. Started it out well, up 10 nothing, but couldn't sustain it, lose 20 to 13. We'll look to uh, bounce right back on Monday night. Got the college football championship side as the final play in this week's football package on my homepage at DocSports.com. But again, star of the show for me on Monday is my college basketball action. We look to continue this season-long run. All right, free pick for today is the battle between Colorado and Utah, Pac-12 action. Uh, when you look at Colorado this year, they're just doing things right at both ends of the floor. 19th in the nation in offensive adjusted efficiency, 29th in the nation in defensive adjusted efficiency, according to Ken Palm. And everything they do on offense is pretty good for the most part, including the fact that they hit more than 51% of their two-pointers thus far. If this game is close to the spread at the end, uh, we've also got the number one free throw shooting team in college basketball, Colorado, hitting almost 86% of their free throws on the season. And when you talk about Utah, you know they've dropped three in a row. We know they're going to be motivated to get back on track in this game. They've lost to UCLA, USC, and Oregon in their last three, um, but they've got some issues. And one of the problems when it comes to Utah this year, they've got four wins against four losses, but they've only beaten one team of their four wins, only one team that's ranked in the top 150 as we speak. That was Washington way back on day one. Their other three wins all came against teams that were ranked outside of the top 250. I think this is a tough spot for Utah again. I do not believe they're gonna bounce back with the win here. So we're gonna recommend a play on Colorado minus the couple of points, laying three for the most part. I see a couple of two and a halfs, but Colorado minus the points are free play in Monday's college baskets. All right, check out the premium play in college baskets, college football, championship game all over on my handicappers homepage at DocSports.com. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com.